Are you back again doing more SAT practice? All right, let's do it. New questions for the 2016 math section on the new SAT. And let's read it. It says, if K is a positive constant different from one, which of the following could be the graph of Y minus X equals K times X plus Y in the XY plane? So how are you gonna do this one? Did you take a look at it yet? Did you pause the video and try it? If not, you can now. I'm gonna go into the explanation. So what I wanna do is with this question, I want to get all the X's on one side and all the Y's on the other. So first thing I'm going to do is distribute this stuff over here, right? Just that into that and that into that. So now I'm going to add X to both sides, add X. So we got Y equals KX, oops, KX plus X plus KY. I'm going to minus KY from both sides, minus KY. So we get y minus ky equals kx, ooh, kx plus x. Were you able to get that far? Just distribute and get all the x's on one side and all the y's on the other. All right, if you got this far, next thing you're going to do, you're going to factor out. So we can take out a y, and that's 1 minus k. And here I can pull out an x, and that's k plus 1. So what do you think I'm going to do next? What do I usually like getting in these uh, equations? Y equals something, right? So I'm going to divide out 1 minus K. Let's do that. Divide out 1 minus K. That crosses out. And we get Y equals... I'm going to put all this stuff on the left, though. So K plus 1 all over 1 minus K in parentheses times X. Okay. So now, I didn't even show you guys the graphs yet. All right, we can check out all the graphs in a second, but let's say I wanted to test the point here. What is the easiest x value for me to test? If I just say x equals what? Well, what happens if x equals zero, right? If x is zero, what is my y for this equation? Well, zero times anything is just zero. So we know that this graph has gotta go through zero, zero. Right off the bat, this one is wrong. Um, I hope you can see it, but this one doesn't even go through 0, 0. So what are we left with? We're either left with D or we're left with B. Okay. So you should also know the form. Um, how do you get a parabola? Don't you need an X squared? Y equals, you know, X squared plus 2, X squared, or they might even do like KX squared. They might try and make it tricky on you, right? But you need an X squared. So, it's not a parabola. By default, the only one left is this one. Okay? All right. I hope that made it easy for you. All I did was distribute, get all the X's on one side, all the Y's on the other, and use a little bit of logic here. We just tested a point, right? We tested this point, 0, 0. And we found that the only ones that I went through the origin was B and D. And this is definitely not the equation of a parabola. All right. Take care, guys. Good luck on the SAT.